this process is for when you've bought uh, soil or you've used soil once before and you want to use it again for start a new batch of seedlings. Um, you want to make sure that it's um, sterile and that there's no um, bacteria or weird things in the soil that could affect your new seedlings. So since I don't want to buy a bag of uh, seed mix every season, I have learned to sterilize my own soil. So here we go. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to transfer it from this container to a cookie sheet um, and then get it moist. So let's do that first. <laughs> I've transferred the soil to the cookie sheet and now I need to get it um, moistened. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle some water over it and then start mixing it with my hands. I want to make sure that the water is getting um, thoroughly mixed in all of it and not just on the top. So I'll start that. So I'm trying to find the balance of, I don't want it to be totally soaked, but I def definitely want the soil to be moist uh, throughout. So I just turn on the faucet over the soil and then mix it with my hands until I feel like it's all gotten um, a lot of moisture all the way through. This still is dry, so I'm going to keep adding water. While I'm preparing this mixture to go into the oven, I've got the oven preheated for 200. And you also need a thermometer. I've got an instant read thermometer that I use for bread. Um, but before I had that, I used a meat thermometer and that worked fine. What we're gonna be doing is trying to get this soil at the perfect temperature. So 140 degrees um, is what we're looking for. Between 140 and 180 degrees is uh, the optimal temperature. If you go above 200, we could kill um, whoa, uh, or create plant toxins in the soil, so we do not want to do that. So we need to find like the perfect temperature. Generally, once I find that I get it up to uh, 140 degrees, it sometimes goes a little above that, and that's fine as long as we can keep it below. 200. So this is just about ready. Seed starting mix is really light and fluffy and so once it's all a darker color, and I'm getting dirt all over the place. Awesome. Then I'm going to try to spread it out so it's sort of even. And we're going to cover it with uh, aluminum foil. And I saved the aluminum foil from last year, so all of this can be reused and I'm not using any new materials. It can't be recycled or used again. So I'll cover this with foil. Try to get a tight seal. My foil ripped a little bit. Oh well. I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna do it all steamy. Oh. Uh, you're gonna be poking a hole in there for uh, to check the temperature. So I already got the perfect little water hole. All right. So I've got it 
pretty well sealed now. And there's a hole right there, but I'm gonna call it good. I don't think that it really matters. And there, yeah, it's okay. So I'm gonna put it in there. Um, the oven's preheated, and we'll check it after 10 minutes and see if we are getting close to that um, 140 degree temperature. Okay, so the timer just went off, so I'm gonna take it out. It's been in there for 10, the first 10 minutes, so we're gonna check the temperature and see where we're at, uh, and keep going till we get to the optimal temperature. So let's check it out. Okay, we're 100, so I'm gonna put it back in for another 10 minutes, and we'll see where we're at. All right, I just wanted to point out one thing um, about how many times you might need to do this process in order to fill up uh, the typical containers that you would use for starting seeds inside. These, um, this is a container that I use for one of the light setups that I have for seed starting. So I have two of these, um, but this is pretty much the typical size of the containers that people use for starting seeds inside. My light fixture was made for this. The heating mat um, is exactly the size. Um, so this is pretty typical. But two of these containers fit the draining uh, container. And when I emptied the seed starting mix onto the baking sheet to sterilize it, one side or one of these containers filled up an entire baking sheet. So just to give you an idea about uh, You'll have to go through this process at least twice to fill out, fill up one whole container for its, for seed starting, but it's totally worth it. Alright, <laughs> it's starting to smell like dirt now. Smell isn't actually the greatest part of this. Let's see where we're at. Oh, I think 120 is pretty safe to say, so we put it in again. Another 10 minutes, and we'll see where we're at. All right, it's registering at 137 right now, so I'm kind of thinking that I might just set the timer for 30 minutes, since um, usually by the time after such long of a period and this close to 140, it usually starts creeping up, like when I pull it out at the end to like 170, so I think we'll probably be in a good range. Um, I might check it halfway through and see what's going on in there and maybe let it go like a few more minutes beyond 30, 30 minutes, but I think we might be good to go. Okay, so the timer just went off. It's been in here for 30 minutes. Let me go ahead and take it out and just check the temperature one more time just to make sure that it hasn't gotten to that 200 degree level. I don't think it has, but um, I would want to know that before I started planting it. So I'm just going to double check and then we'll be good. Yeah, 178. So I think we're, or I know we're still in the safe zone. So I'm going to call it good. So I'm going to leave it until it's completely cooled. And I'm actually just going to keep the foil on. This is not the best smelling thing. So it's best to just kind of keep it that way. I'm gonna let it cool completely. And then before you use the soil, this seed starting mix, you'll wanna sterilize the containers that you're gonna put it back into. So I wouldn't wanna just put the sterilized soil back into this. I'm gonna clean it of all this dirt and use like a diluted bleach solution to sterilize uh, the container. Then I'll put the cool seed starting mix back in here and I'll be ready to plant. So that's it. Good luck with yours. Happy planting. So you should be warned that this is not the cleanest process and if you're not paying attention you'll get dirt all over your countertops and the floor and your feet. So um, consider yourself warned.